How's it going on in bookup.org? Adam Bonjavani back here with another Thursday video for you guys. Now, first of all, happy International Women's Day. Um, and I want this video to kind of relate back to the topic of all the amazing women out there. I did some research before I started this video and I looked at a study from 2014. And the study interviewed 40,000 men from a book review website. And they wanted to see who were writing the books that the men were reading. And the results came out and men were more likely to read books written by men. But it wasn't that that surprised me. It was the statistic that 90 90% of the books that guys were reading were also written by other guys. So they were only reading 10% books written by females. And I think that's an issue in 2018. So obviously by the title of this video, I want to challenge all men out there to read more books written by women. I, I feel like on this channel, the whole goal is to promote people to read, but it's also to promote people to step outside of their comfort zone when it comes to reading. I've talked about it numerous times before. The only way to grow in life and the only way to, to, to gain more knowledge is by expanding your comfort zone and stepping outside of your comfort zone. If we want to learn, we have to keep pushing ourselves. If you really want to grow, you will take the perspectives of so many different people and the point of views of so many different people and you learn from them. I went back on the books I've read in the past and I have read more books written by men. So I'm a part of this issue too. So I'm going to make it a goal of myself in 2018 to read more books written by women. There was another study done by Vita.com and they actually wanted to see if reviewers and critics were reading more books by men than women. And they were. The only way you gain recognition and the only way authors continue to grow in the industry is that their books get reviewed by these big bloggers and these big reviewers and these big writers. As a community, I feel like book lovers need to start promoting that, you know what, I'm not only going to read books by people who look like me, I'm going to read books by someone who might offer a completely different perspective. There's a bunch of young women out there who are aspiring to be authors. And if we keep putting this message out there that we're only going to read books written by men or a majority of the books we're going to read are going to be by men, they're just going to stop and they're not even going to try anymore. If women go into it knowing that their books aren't going to get reviewed and critics aren't going to take them seriously, then why are they going to write them? So it's kind of our duty as people who love reading so much to promote equality when it comes to what we're reading. It starts with us. If I read a book that I love written by women, which obviously I have, Harry Potter is one of my favorite series of all time, you recommend it to a friend, and then the snowball effect takes place. If you read a book written by women that you absolutely love, you're going to recommend it to someone else, they're going to recommend it to someone else, and it keeps going continuously. We want to really put out there that, guys, it's on us to make a change here. I don't want the number to be at 90% anymore, and you shouldn't either. Ian McEwen, a very successful male novelist, once said, without women, the novel would be dead. And it's true. Don't only support people who are like you, support the amazing women authors out there. And also, this is a balloon floating. So if you, you wonder what that is, it's a balloon. You know now. This video is brought to you by one of our most recent book of the months, The Real Sisters by Michelle Cummings. It's a book that embodies female empowerment. And we had Michelle on the show and she was an amazing guest. Such an amazing independent woman who really stands up for what she believes. So guys, let's do our part. Let's, let's try to put an end to sexism in the reading community. Who's gonna take the challenge? I know a lot of the guys I know would, would never say no to a, to a good challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much to all the support we get. I truly appreciate it. Last week's user of the week was you. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you wanna be next week's user of the week, whether you're a guy or girl, tell me what was the last book you read that was written by a woman. And I'll see you guys next Thursday.